Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, beautiful. Good 71, maybe 72. Sunshine this afternoon, all day. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yesterday, you know, wasn't bad. It was an interesting. At one point, the sun was shining and it was raining. Yeah. Then it would rain and it clear up and the sun looked great it was a very strange weather day and i think most of that heavy heavy weather the storms the lightning i heard there was a house in elmont that was hit by lightning most of it ran through queens and then nassau and went up north i don't think it headed out east too badly candy no it wasn't as bad as they thought or at least what I thought they meant when they yeah. were given the weather. Yes. Uh, but a very interesting day. I ran. I said, oh, I'm on the deck. It's sunny and raining. I said, <laughs> yeah. where's my rainbow? I didn't see one. Oh, very sad for you, really. And yeah, are, I am too. These are first world problems, Candy. Mm, don't I know. Yes, no rainbow for Candy. What, sh- <laughs> <laughs> what shall we do? Uh, by the way, I just, I know you hate when I bring this up, but Uh, Sometimes in the morning, I hear Brian in the background, and I know uh, it doesn't really translate over the radio. It's just in my headphones, probably. But he is an aggressive Aggressive. coffee stirrer. Yes. I mean, he puts whatever he puts in there, and he stirs like he can't see the bottom of the cup. I mean, he is just drink. Oh, my God. And then I think I heard the microwave, and I heard some whipped cream. What's going on over there? Oh, no whipped cream. There was no whipped cream. All right. Listen. Calm down. All right. Stop listening to background noises. Sorry. Only pay attention to me. All right. It's going to be a uh, beautiful day, as we have talked about. As a matter of fact, um, Elijah has his Bronx Zoo trip today. Oh, how nice. What a nice trip. Third grade trip. Uh, Leah and Abigail have uh, taken that, obviously. And uh, Elijah, luckily with, you know, I'm sure Bronx Zoo was canceled uh, for a couple of years, or at least one year in 2020, for sure. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he gets to take it here in third grade. So, uh, he is excited about getting to the zoo today and that'll be, that'll be, I've never been to the Bronx Zoo. I really gotta go. You know, I definitely, I'm sure I was there when I was younger a long time ago. I do not remember, uh, anything about it. You don't? No, Hmm. no. And I can guarantee I was there, whether it be a school trip or my parents, uh, took us. I know I was there. I just... Couldn't tell you what it looked like, anything about it. Um, And I want to thank the school for doing the Bronx Zoo trip. So it allows me not to have to take my children to the Bronx Zoo. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. No, this is... it's a very nice school trip. It is a very nice trip. um, And I think a lot of parents probably feel the way I feel is that, you know, it's a a big undertaking. You got to go all the way out there. It's a lot of walking, Candy. And, oh boy! You know, good. Take my kids. Here's the money. How much money do you need? Take my kids to the zoo. Oh please. my goodness! Well, Elijah's going today. Yes, uh, Dana is a chaperone, by the oh, way. Oh, I so. love that. I used to do that. Yeah, uh, this will be her uh, third time at the zoo. With love the, it. That's her thing. So she does the zoo with the kids, and yeah, so uh, very nice. It's going to be a beautiful day. Thankfully, they have a um, a good weather day, so they're going to have a very nice one. Yeah. Uh, Candy, let's start the show uh, this way. I have an interesting story for you. Let me just uh, find it. Where are the news stories? There we go. Okay, so weddings, all right? You're a big fan of weddings. Love weddings. All right, you dealt with a lot of uh, wedding talk the last couple of years, postponements. Yes. and went on forever. All right, so there was a poll done. Things that people think should be retired from weddings. And I want to know, and you don't have to spend a ton of time on each one. You just got to tell me, did your son have this? And would you like to see this canceled from weddings? Okay. All right. Let's do it. The couple smearing cake in each other's faces. They did not do that. Okay. I'd like to see that removed from weddings. Okay. Taking your own pictures while the photographer is doing the staged shots. Guilty. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Um, Bringing kids when the invite says no children. Did anyone sneak their children in? Okay. No one snuck their children. Yeah, that would take 
some guts. I don't know. That's about... rotten. Yeah. To drag, you know, if you're not invited, you're not invited. So whether you're a kid or whomever, if you're not on the invitation, you're not invited. That's right. Here's one. Serving food on a buffet that is not labeled, especially due to allergies. Were there labels on the buffet, Candy? Yes. Yes, there were. And there were not only labels, but there were servers telling you what everything was. Uh, that's very nice. Choreographed skits, flash mobs, and dance routines. My girlfriend did this at her daughter's bat mitzvah. I thought it was ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Casey did not do it. I say ban that. Okay. Over drinking, which could lead to drama. Anybody? No, no. Okay. I would have to say everybody was very well behaved. Uh, things people want retired from weddings. People proposing at other people's weddings. Agree. It's just their moment. Let them have it, man. Did anyone, no one did that at no, your son's wedding? No, no one okay. did that. No one announced a pregnancy, none of that. All right. The chicken dance. Did you have the chicken dance? Did not have the chicken dance, <laughs> okay. but in case you forgot, I am a chicken dance champion. That's right. You've told me. Where was this? How this did this? Was at, we belonged to a community pool <laughs> uh, back in the day when the kids were little. And uh, I, on the weekends, they would have a DJ, you know, stirring you up. Wait, don't don't mind me. I'm taking a sip of coffee. It's story go right, time. Go, go ahead. right ahead. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a chicken dance. And my kids urged me to partake. And I did. And I won. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> I could see that. Um, yes, they were so happy. More things to uh get rid of from weddings did they play beyonce's single ladies when it was time for the bouquet toss candy gee i don't even remember the bouquet toss i don't think so all no. right no no um people think the first dance should be eliminated no one but the couple is entertained by it. i love the first dance sorry okay. and i love the mother son dance so no don't yeah. take those away all right the tired boring best man and maid of honor speeches candy yes or no I loved the speeches at okay. my son's wedding. Um, his father-in-law spoke. It was amazing. His brother spoke, his best friend. I loved it. I could see where they get a little winded and maybe not everybody cares as much. I do like uh, speeches. Um, I, I do, because I, I want to hear what people have to say. I do. So beautiful. Yeah. But it has to be done in a certain way. Yeah, I've seen where maybe the best man had too much to drink. <laughs> yeah. Was making sort of a fool out of himself. But not at my son's wedding. All right. The number one thing is it should be retired from weddings, according to this poll. Clinking silverware on the glasses to get the couple to kiss. Agree. Were you guilty of that? No. Really? I, no. I, I don't think they did it. At the, I'm telling you, I don't think that happened. All right. Good. Uh, I don't like it. Get out of here with that. Oh, hey, that's number one. So there you go. You're, there you go. You agree. Seven, uh, bye -bye. 7.30 special song on the way. Less than an hour to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. We got some day today. It is going to be absolutely uh, gorgeous. Getting up uh, over 70, it looks like. And sunshine, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On my country, 96.1.